So I was downtown when the Vancouver Canucks lost the Stanley Cup playoffs, and it was out of control, man. I was, like, taking newspaper stands and throwing them through car windows, and then I would flip the car upside down and light it on fire. And, like, people were, like, running everywhere. It was awesome, man. And then we were taking stuff and, like, throwing it through store windows, and then we got, like, a whole bunch of free stuff because we were stealing everything, and we were, like, punching cops in the face, and there was, like, blood everywhere. No, not really. Why? Because I'm not an idiot! So yes, I was downtown during Game 7 of the Stanley Cup playoffs, where the Vancouver Canucks lost to the Boston Bruins. This is how our night started. excuse for the people who were involved in this riot. It was disgraceful, it was disgusting, it was shameful, and it was wrong. I'm sure most of you guys have seen some footage on the news because it was making world headlines, but here's something I think a lot of people don't know. This wasn't a case where our team lost and we got super mad because we wanted that cup and then we just decided to throw stuff around and start punching people and lighting stuff on fire. This was a case of a group of people who packed their little backpacks full of gasoline, weapons, masks, you know, the usual, came downtown to watch the game, already knowing full out that they were going to riot. And the sad thing is, is this riot would have happened even if we would have won. I don't know if that's better or worse. I've seen tons of footage on the news and I've heard a lot of people say, Well, I thought Canadians were so nice. Well, we're not all nice, obviously. It makes me sick to my stomach knowing that there were actually people who came downtown knowing that they were going to do this. Now, I'm not saying everybody who got involved knew that they were going to be a part of the riot ahead of time, but definitely the ones who started it did. And that's just stupid. Now, I'm not just saying this because the Vancouver police said this. I'm saying this because I was down there and I saw the looks on people's faces when they were tearing our downtown apart. They were like, oh, I'm so mad right now because my team lost the cup. No, they had a smile on their face. This was playtime for them. It was fun. And that to me is even more disturbing. After I ran through everything and everything got crazy and we got to safety, I updated my Facebook status and I said that I was really disappointed in my city right now. Then the next day when I actually thought about it, I'm not disappointed in my city. Would you like to know why? The city I live in hosted a free party for an estimated 100,000 people because our hockey team made it into the Stanley Cup playoffs. They wanted everyone to be able to watch the game together. They had huge screens set up everywhere and we came together as a city and we cheered and we partied and we celebrated. The city I live in had 
thousands of people go downtown the next morning on their own and volunteer to clean up the city. The city I live in took what we first called the Wall of Shame, which was the bay storefront windows that were all broken and had to be boarded up, and they turned it into what we now call the Citizen Wall, because people wrote messages of apology and support and sympathy and encouragement. And then the bay turned around a couple days later and threw a huge pound cake breakfast for everybody, thanking everyone for their help and support. There have been dozens of websites and Facebook pages created where we can put up our pictures of all the pictures that we took that night so we can catch these people that were involved in the riot. And there are multiple peace rallies being organized for the thousands and thousands of people that were against this riot. I would like to thank all of the volunteers who helped clean up our city and organize all the events. I would like to thank the Vancouver Police Department. I would like to thank the Vancouver Fire Department. I would like to thank Ian and the crew at the Loose Moose who kept me and my friends safe. And lastly, I would like to thank all of the Vancouverites who were downtown, who were not involved in the riots, and who were there for all of the right reasons. You make this city a city that I love to be a part of. I am not proud of those few hundred people who tried to ruin it for the rest of us, but I am proud to live in this city, and I am proud to call myself a Vancouverite, and I am damn proud to call myself Canadian. So take that. That's my take on the riot, and we will see you guys next time.